This video is going to dive into one of the most profound and thought-provoking topics in philosophy and theology. The question of God and punishment. How do different religious traditions understand divine retribution? Is punishment from a higher power a form of justice, a test of faith, or something else entirely? We're going to join LSF and NEON and Irish Catholic on their exploration of these questions, examining several different perspectives on the topic. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like and a comment. Now I'm going to get out of here so you can enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. What? No, just uh, <laughs> one second. Hi. So one minute, if we're stating that the child is going to heaven, right, and that when it talks about, you're talking about David, when it's talking about David's uh, sin, because God is just, and um, because he did sin, he did forgive him, but still his child died. And when you're trying to line that up with abortion, well, that's God. God can do whatever he wants, right? He's the creator. Um, but you're trying people. to state, you're trying to state that when somebody is taken in their own hands to now play God, that oh, this is okay. No, it's not okay. No, I'm just there's saying a lot of people who die, who I'm die naturally, right? But imagine saying, oh, because they're going to die naturally. That's we, we always get hung murder. up on like the moral claims. We we never I get into actually, like what it means to punish someone. No, no, you the guys, guys, the guy was the guy 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 I came in. The guy was executed for something that he didn't do for being the offspring of David. So whether so, you want to say God is right or not, he was being punished for circumstances that were outside of his control. Who's the guy? Who's the guy? Who are you talking David, about? David's guy? son. Can, can I give David's you an example? David's son wasn't, he wasn't a guy. He was a baby. Okay. Oh, okay. So I guess you know, can I give you anymore. Can I, yeah, yeah, so he was a baby. Can, can and he was a baby. Irish Catholic, can I, can I ask you something? And the baby went to heaven. Wait, can yeah, I, can but I the baby was something punished. Irish Catholic? No, the baby went to heaven. Oh my God! And it states that it says that yeah, David says me, right? that I will meet you in paradise. Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. He, fine. The baby fine, dies. He, fine. The, the baby and father is being punished. Oh. So, so Irish Catholic, let me let me ask you a question. Okay. So let's say. Uh, so you, let's you say want to that... address though your previous thing? Oh my that you God! Can she not about? hear me? No, I can't hear you. I'm just asking you. You want they, to address they're not the previous really statement? She's just waiting for a chance. Yeah, to I'm, 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 I want to address the previous statement because my previous statement Chris. is that all of these things are punishments, right? And I want to, I want to go through an example, and I want to ask you if you think that this is a punishment because I think I have a working definition of a punishment that would apply to all of these cases, and I could, I could reasonably say that based on my very reasonable uh you know very uncontroversial notion of a punishment that we would reasonably say that god punished this baby for the actions of david okay right so, so i wanna wait, wait can i, 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 can I answer this... the question though yeah can I yeah the you question? can but i kind of got what you're stating so can i i just want to make it clear so you basically when it comes to david's baby by god punishing the baby was to send the baby to hell right that would well, be no, God punishing wasn't, the baby. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. But it would be, it though, right? If the baby went to heaven, no, it would that be wasn't the only thing. I'm telling you, no, you're not letting me elaborate. Go ahead. Why does it get so frustrating? No, Go that ahead. wasn't the only thing that happened. He also made the baby suffer for like seven days. Didn't like, say that. Going through this, going through, a, going because he's made the baby go through a sickness for like a week. Okay, so I want to wait till you're finished and then I'm going to answer. Okay, so let's say that, forget the Bible for a second, let's just take like a common everyday example, okay? Let's say that someone gets a speeding ticket, right? They're going, you know, 30 miles over the speed limit, okay? And then they take it to traffic court, and then they lose that case, right? Um, we would say that, you know, since they've been found guilty in a court of law, and, and they have them dead to rights, like they have all of the evidence against, against him, perfect evidence, okay? They say that person A, because you were speeding, 
person B is going to be le injected with a brain tumor, and pers we should expect that person B will die in six months because of this perfect brain tumor that we can inject into them. Let me ask you something. Would you view this, and would you would you say that person B is being punished for person A's speeding ticket? So one minute, guys. This is what I mean. This is this is so shit. Not normal. I can never get the fucking answer, dude. So hold on. You're gonna answer. You said you're gonna answer. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to, but you're you're getting so excited. So one second. Answer the situation. You're lining up. What would happen with a speed ticket is someone was going to get my brain damaged. If you don't think it's analogous, that's fine. They're going to hell. Answer the question and then tell me. Yeah, no. I'm gonna be honest. I think it's too bad to take. I think it's too bad to take. But I'm gonna state this to you. Where does it say in the Bible that no one suffers? Oh my God! <laughs> you you answered that. You, you, you made a strong I, I, you man argument. Me. You lied you to me. Like you said you, you were going to answer the question. I didn't know how stupid you said that you're you were going, going to answer to. the question. You fucking lied to me. You didn't. Why you weren't have any, any intention on answering the question. Why are you swearing? The easy thing to do in this conversation is just to say that it's, I lost it's him, guys. Yeah. I'm the sorry, easy, but I got lost him because of easy. This is me trying to finish a sentence, by the way. Um, the easy thing to do in this case is just to admit that it's punishment and then like tell him that he's right. Yeah. No, one second. Punishment. I just want to, I just want to state this really quickly. I mean, one is he started with a straw man because where in the That's Bible fine. does it you say, say it's not where analogous. in the Bible? I just wanted an answer to the question. Let, let me, but you're let about me, to say this, this is them. very, tell us why, you this is very, bitch. nowhere in the Bible. What did you say? You're about to say a non sequitur. You're about to say that nowhere in the Bible does it say that people won't suffer. Yeah. Right. And that's as non sequitur because we're not we're not debating the definition of suffering. We're debating the definition of So why is he so but one minute he brought up the fact guys this is a bit so one you brought up the fact you brought up the fact that I said forget the Bible for a second. No, we can't because this is the whole topic and don't run. So one minute. You brought up the fact about Christians, you said about suffering, you made a straw man argument. So let's hit your straw man, right? I wasn't because we don't about believe suffering. in that. I was talking about now, punishment. One minute, Jesus one Christ. second. Hello, don't take large name in vain. So you stated that when it comes to Christians, that we're talking about suffering. But I just want to notice where in the Bible does it say oh that God. no one will suffer? Okay, so if I answer this question, you're going to It doesn't mine, say that. Right? So by it you pointing out that, that this so child, you're my question this, now, right? child, this child was yeah. unwell before the seven days and this child died, well, right. we all know that everyone has a cross to carry in this life. Everyone right. would suffer in some way or another. Great. Is that suffering? Awesome. Pun so then, so then how does your argument, how does your argument follow? Yeah, be, yeah my argument follows because I take a punishment to be a negative set of consequences adjudicated by a third party and levied towards an individual for that individual or another individual's transgressions. That is what I take a punishment to be. So in my example, person B being punished because the court ruled that person A got a speeding ticket. And so the court saying, hey, because person A got a speeding ticket and is ruled guilty, person B gets a lethal brain and tumor injected into their skull, right? I would take that to be the court punishing person B for person A's crimes. Now, do you agree with that characterization okay. of a punishment? No, I don't. Or do you not? Okay, so I, you don't I think don't. that that's a punishment. So what is a punishment to you? No, no, I don't. I tell you why I don't. Okay, because first of all, when it came up on the table, we already established that everybody has a cross to carry. Everybody will be punished in certain yeah, no, ways. We'll go through when endure. Punishment? Hold on for a second. We'll endure sufferings in this life, right? God did not promise a perfect life in this, in this life. He didn't promise I that. I agree. I agree so that by, people so will suffer. Minute, hold on relevant. for a second. Hold on for a second. It's yeah. not relevant. So when a child, so when this baby, as you're talking about David's baby, um, that he was unwell, and then for the seven days, and that this baby went to heaven. So that means then that this suffering that everyone else has, every on this earth, God is just, everyone has suffering, right? That means the baby had suffering, okay, if you're saying the baby was unwell, and the baby went to heaven for eternity, right? So then... Wouldn't God be fair at this point? Because everybody oh, on this earth suffers. Would it, wouldn't God be fair? 
No, and that's not what we're talking about. How is that not about. fair? Because everybody in this night has to be fair. We're not talking about whether it's fair. We're not talking about whether or not it's suffering. We're talking about whether or not it's a punishment. But I Here, just told it, you. Let's take what, it another way. Yeah. Let's take it another way. Let's so say that gonna... David's. Let's say that David's son exists not because he committed adultery, but because he did something else. Right. It, let's say he took a different wife. He found someone else, and that son still exists. <laughs> right. Do you think God would have killed this boy? Well, if because of this, I don't know. God has a reason behind everything, you don't know. and God met it. I don't know about everything that God's going to do. Wow. I don't. Number one is number one is I'm not a I'm not a fortune teller. Uh, I'm I can't predict the future. So you don't you don't know whether God like has good reasons to kill his boy. There's or a lot of so one second. So he would have so done it in every possible world. So so one second. There's people There's no that never had a dog trait that was married, right, and that their children died beforehand. Okay. So what am I so, meant? So what am I meant to say? Oh, I have a question. Because of, because of what happened today. No, there's some people that don't, but yet the children it goes to heaven, right? Well, you could tell me what a punishment is. So then we're just going around circles now. So either you establish that what I said, and you tried to make it sound crazier earlier when I said to you that your analogy that you give didn't make sense. You can say it doesn't make sense. Okay, I just want to. Awesome know if person is is person b being punished for the actions of person a and not uh, listen listen one second you're talking about a speed ticket and you're talking about brain damage yeah obviously that's gone yeah. off my head i gotta be honest you have to come with a better analogy because okay, okay how about this? you're this? acting very person extreme b, there. how about this the court rules yeah. that person b has to pay four hundred dollars for person a speeding ticket is that a punishment well if uh, if the other person couldn't pay the speeding Mother ticket fucking right? Christ. Oh, you're not taking God's name in vain again. I'm not even pay. going to. I'm not even going to engage with you. You're taking God's name in vain. You're. You obviously don't yeah. believe in God. So Offended. I don't know why you would take God's name in vain. You don't believe that He yeah, exists. I girls. mean, that alone yeah, sounds a bit crazy, girls. there, doesn't it? Yeah. It sounds insane. Um, I have. Yeah, I have a question for instead Irish. of answering the fucking question. Awesome. Okay, you took God's name in vain quite a few times now, so I'm not going to engage with you. It's pointless. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Need the liberal safe space for sure. Awesome. Um, would you would you engage with me, please? I haven't yeah. blasphemed. Cool. Um, eternal punishment. Anyone else? Anyone I was else speaking to you yesterday, my... right? You had a different picture you... up. Yeah, I, I'm a Christian, so it's different. No, I know. You. I was speaking to you. You said "f your God" yesterday. Uh, I, think, oh, I can't think, talk to I him. Think he I disagrees. Told, well, t t t talk to me or don't. I apologise if I said that yesterday. I don't think I did. I think I told the person I was talking to there's something else. I told them to get whatever. I don't want to say it. Are yeah. we okay? Well, if you repent of this, uh, we can move on from it. God willing, you will repent. Okay, ask your question. Okay, uh, I have a theology without hell. Without hell. Well, am I wrong? What do you mean? You have a theology without hell. Can you explain it to me, please? Sure. Uh, God is pure and good. Correct? Yeah. Okay, we're on the same page. Uh, pure, pure, all of that, yeah. Um, for me, there's only really God, uh, the spirit, which is part of God, divine spark in my theology. That's the thing that gives you life and gives you free will. It doesn't make decisions for you. I am a radical dualist. Only God, and that bit of God's spirit we have, is perfectly pure and good. Uh, material, all of it, is evil. It's dysfunctional. It's a machine that doesn't work properly. That's what the problem of evil is. It's not God's problem. God didn't create it. Uh, there aren't dark forces at work. There are no dark forces emanating from my God. Uh, Jesus kind of speaks of this in ways. Is that, is that not Catholic theology? Nope. Oh, can you, dude, you were trolling me with that. I don't really want to talk oh, no, seriously, with you. Like I'm talking to a lady. Be... Would you be polite as to let me speak with that lady, please? She's a very nice lady. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you. Uh, that, and, well, that's my um, point of view, but it, for you it's probably called extra-canonical. Okay. So, correct me if I'm right or wrong. So, you stated that there's God. God is perfect. God is pure. 
right? And then there's something that uh, God did not create, but through evil, because they had free will, um, they created evil. Man created evil. Yeah, God, God, created, created man. God creates the universe. The yeah. universe is, is effectively a machine. That The machine okay. is, is not faulty. It's not that God made a mistake. The yeah. way in which our universe works, yeah, uh, it has to work that way to have a functional universe. That's where we have the free will. We we are the so our, our free will is what causes everything we call evil, uh, and anything which is something like uh, material evil, a baby getting brain cancer or uh, people dying in earthquakes, natural evils, they are all because of the machine. Nothing to do with God. That's literally what? Catholic theology. That is yeah. Saint Augustine, City of God. Yeah. Without the hell, there's no demons. Yeah, but you just yeah. you just put without the hell, but that is what Catholics. Um, you say state. evil is the absence of God's grace. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Right. So, um, do you believe that Adam and Eve were two real people? Um. Yeah. This is oh. so funny. Hey, people can believe what they want. Don't please. Uh. Well. So I have a. A sort of a, a different take. I think okay. in the primi primitive times of the Old Testament, they were trying to explain exactly what you and I believe, that there's one God. Uh, but they did the whole thing in uh, metaphor, mythology. It's There's plot devices. So I don't believe that God came down to go to, the God, to say, for example, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah to find out if the uh, Malay that he had heard about over there was as bad as people were saying. That's kind of a plot device, not an actual fact in life, in reality. So we have a kind of different point of view. So there's no fall of man. Man's just part of that machine that has an error in it. Error grew strong like a fog and became yeah, powerful. We, we, we would disagree on that. We believe that when it comes to Adam and Eve, that Adam um, was the man who took on sin, right? And uh, that's the reason why that when someone like a baby is born or chill or like uh, people, for instance, were born with original sin. Right. And that we have to get baptized and we are then now in the new covenant and we have become adopted children of God. But we would say that everyone is in the image of God. Um, but through one man's um, Adam, he basically brought sin into the world. But our Lord who was the new Adam, who was perfect, he took sin out of the world. That's what okay. we would say like that. Would Adam effectively be right down the lineage, our father? Earthly yeah. father? Okay. Yeah. God say, well, frequently says, many, many yeah, times yeah. I can find you, hang on, many times I can find you in the Bible where we are not pay, to pay for the sins of our forefathers. So when says, you said earthly, so when you say earthly father, um, you do realize that it does talk about that when it comes about Adam, right? Um, it states there's they're showing you through um, throughout the Bible who is the children of Adam, who was the children of them, and it goes on and goes forward, right? Even in the New Testament, it'll show you that line. So for you to say that we don't believe in it, we believe that all humans come from Adam. No, that's fine. No, I, that's your belief, and I, I'm agreeing with you on that basis. Yeah. That makes Adam our immortal father. Yeah. Um, well, and the Bible says we shouldn't be paying for for the sins of our fathers, and Adam is the original sinner, so we're paying for Adam's mistake. Yeah. Um, there's different views on this when you talk like this. Um, when it comes to certain stuff, like when the other person tried to bring up earlier about David, basically, and that the child is now taken on basically um the punishment for the father right that's what yeah. he was trying to say earlier so um there, there were quite a person that maybe like might be better for you to listen to his name's called brad pageley and he explains this he's got a book on it that's what i would state to you to have a look and to have a read at uh but yeah, we, we as Catholics, we do believe that the first man did take on sin. And then when God met Adam and he met Eve, they were perfect. And the world was perfect. But because we have free will, um, God allowed for the tree of knowledge to be there, but he told them not to take from it. And they took from it. They could have took from the tree of life, but they didn't. Right. Um, so 
God wants us to follow him. Now, we can either deny God or we can follow him. And for people who deny God and don't follow him in this life, well, God respects them enough that in the next, he will allow them to be separate from him. So that's what we would say. Now, if you want to say this through the Bible as well, that it's called as well, you are child of the devil, right? Son of the devil. But okay, yet yeah. God, but yet it's talking about man is met in God's image, right? Yeah. Uh, so there's different words, there's different things, there's such thing called typology. You know, it's Bible's very complicated. It it is. So right, here is my fundamental problem, okay. I was an atheist for fifty three years, and then kaboom, divine spark. Finally saw the truth. I did not find this in a book. It came to me by divine. And that's the only thing I can tell you. And you don't have to believe me. The place I found the nearest thing to the model I explained to you is actually in Gnostic Gospels. And they come out of the words of Jesus Christ from the first century. And I have no way of deciding uh, which parts of the Bible are literally true, which words Jesus actually said, which were put in his mouth, which are, which bits of plot devices, which are uh, literary, you know, literary devices, metaphors, allegories. Uh, we can maybe delineate some bits that shouldn't be there if they're not in the oldest of so There's no Gnostic um, Bibles uh, from the first century. Um, we haven't there's claimed the that. Gospel of Thomas. No, that wasn't in the first century. That was there's claims on that that it's meant to be in the third, and some say there's the sixth century. That's I know the you're saying infancy it. Gospel of Thomas, not the Coptic Gospel of Thomas. I know what you're talking about, the Gospel of Thomas, where it literally talked about Mary Madeline and then no, God and Satan literally. It, yeah. 114 sayings of Jesus. It's only things that Jesus said. There aren't any parables or anything. There's no, there's no narrative. It's not about his life. It's about the words he said. Many yeah. of them are familiar to you. I didn't come to bring a, a peace. I came to bring a sword. There's a very yeah. similar statement to that. But I am not able to separate... The book, the 66 books we call the Bible, 73, I think, if it's yours, are uh, yeah. the Gnostics. Uh, so I'm a Docetist, a Gnostic. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also a perennialist. So I believe that there is a divine knowledge that has been preserved through the whole of mankind, and everybody is pointing at the same thing. Mm. So I would say to you, when it comes to the Gnostics books, yes, there might be certain things because it's like a con, right? They will have certain things in it that will be true. Yeah? Yes. W one second. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry, my brother just came to the door. Um, he was asking me something. Okay, God bless him. Um, yeah, what I was saying was when it comes to the Knox, um, sorry, I can't pronounce that word, the fake, basically, other Bibles, of course, they're like a con. There's going to be certain things that's in it that's going to be true. And there's also as well their Gnostic texts that they were putting into it to try to put their pagan ways or certain stuff into those. Now, I don't have to worry about stuff like that because I have the church, uh, the Catholic how do you know, church. So, hang on, how, how do you know they were pagans? Jewish? Because there's many... Because there, there was many things that, like, they were stating um, that some of them, like, there was all you no know, Gnostic groups at times. Some of them was pagans. There's a Gnostic stuff where it's talking about, um, like, the Acts. I think it is the Acts of Peter, right? Um, about that's just, that's see the beautiful. Uh, I, I was uh, sorry. To I don't think. Oh, you think that's beautiful? That book. That's see the beautiful. As are many of the books that are in the Bible. Do you think that James? No, no, James? no. That's not beautiful, brother. How would you think that's beautiful? It literally says that that um, I said pseudo has... pseudopigraphal, not written by the person given the name, given the credit for it. The same as Mark didn't write Mark, Matthew didn't write Matthew, Luke didn't write Luke, and John didn't write John. That's not true. Mark did Mark, Mark write Mark. No, Luke you sorry. Write, write demonstrate that to be a fact. Please. Okay, not a problem. I can demonstrate to you that in facts. Um, number one is we have as well the early church fathers who's who's literally stating that who wrote these. We can tell as well by what way that they're writing them, right? We have we have the church fathers quoting it. We have what's his name? Arignus. I can't pronounce his his name. Irenaeus. Ar, 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 I can't. He's a he's a church father. He gets into this. 
he says their names on it. We can see their coding. We can see by what way they're talking. Like, for instance, Luke, he was a doctor, right? We can see that um, Matthew was, yeah, was a yeah, tax no, so was, Hang on a second. Were, were, well, were the diets, were, right, hang on. Were the disciples fishermen? Yes, uh, Peter. Okay. Uh, the, oh, sorry, you can't fish. be a fisherman and a tax collector. So, or so one a fisherman second. and a doctor. So Peter wasn't, a, uh, Matthew wasn't um, a fisherman. Oh, uh, which disciple was a tax collector? Where does it say that in the oh, Bible? Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector. Where does it say that in the Bible? It says it in the Bible. Where you can read it Matthew when he literally comes when he comes to our Lord. Did and Matthew Stanley. say, I, right, nowhere does it say, I am Matthew, I am Mark. So yeah, it's not so like actually, Revelation where John says, I am John. This is John of Patmos, so, I am writing my book. I'm sorry, so but this just, is tradition, not a you fact. Asked me, you asked me a question, right? So I'm going to, I'm trying to explain it to you. So we can tell that Luke was a doctor, right? We know this. We also know about Matthew. Who, who wrote it the book? It, it, says it, in, it says it in the book of Luke. It says in the book of Luke, I yeah. am a doctor. It says that Where? he's a doctor, yes. This and I have Acts. to go through it, which Act, and Act, I have to go the gospel. Act, yeah, gospel. through the gospel. And it also talks about as well that Matthew was a taxpayer, a tax collector, and he left being a tax collector and he followed Christ. It states that. It also but says Matthew, as well. So, so you just asked me a question. So in his you just, gospel. But you're, you're telling so, me a story. And no, I don't I'm have any telling you what it says. So I'm telling you what it says in the Bible, right? And it also says as well that Peter and John were fishermen, right? And so was Andrew. Andrew was the brother of Peter. And they were fishermen. And it states that when people said, hey, for how do these two fishermen know this, right? For they haven't been schooled. And we know as well when Peter is talking, we know that Mark most of the time is writing on behalf of Peter. And that's why he says, I'm here with my son, Mark, right? And Mark is, is writing on behalf of Peter. Where does that um, say that in Mark? It says I, that. I, I'm, never, right, I, I'm completely unaware of this. This is church tradition yeah. and nothing no, factual. Said, it, so, so one second. It actually says these things in the Bible. They are not signed documents. How do you know the people who wrote something which is not signed by them? Right. Number one I is... I have a piece of paper know, with something written on so, it. Who wrote it? Okay, so Barry great. Or Fred. So, so, let me, so let me help you. Okay. Number one is Luke me. states that he wrote to correct the book of Luke. Can you let her Luke, Luke states that he wrote the book of Luke. It states that, right? We can say that, right? Luke, and Matthew, when we're talking about Matthew, we can see in the Gospels that Matthew, he was a tax compare, right? He was a tax collector. So that means Matthew was very educated, right? So we can see what way he's going to write. Now, we can see that Paul spoke many different languages, right? And that Paul was, the um, disciple of Paul was Luke, right? So we can see when they're talking, they're literally talking among themselves. So for instance, the book of Hebrews, that's meant to be wrote by Luke and Paul because Paul was in jail, right? Um, for instance, as well, when it talks about uh, Mark, right? Mark um, was writing for Peter most of the time because it's stated that Peter and John that they were fishermen and they were most likely that they couldn't read but afterwards it shows us that they could even read they could have a possibility to read because it says that the com the Holy Spirit is the one who is the comforter that is reminding them of everything and that they could even speak in different tongues right but we can tell by these things that who is writing by their education right so that's no, how, and true church fathers, true church fathers, because we have the apostles of the apostles, right? Like St. Ignatius of Antioch, he was meant to be the child who God said, don't um, let the children come to me. Um, we can see this, right? We have a chain right now going to our Pope Francis, to our first Pope Peter. So that's the reason why I rely on the church that compiled the Bible because I know the church to be true because it says in the Bible that the church has the pillar of all truth. So if I believe in the Bible, I have to believe in God's church. And in Matthew uh, 16, 18, God says, on Kofros, Peter, I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not come against it. That's God's promise. So a Gnostic text, I know it's a front tree. I, uh, I I trust I, the church. I, 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 frankly, why are you telling me about Gnostic texts? I asked you, you about the Gospels. 
I asked you about the Gospels. You, I gave you a substantial quantum lens. I've answered it. I, I, I've answered it. So uh, you, yeah, you told you told me a nice story. Yeah, that I have no way to confirm is true. And there that's are not many. true. You can confirm. It's Excuse true. me, it's my reply time. Do you mind? Okay, go ahead. Okay, right. Uh, wow. I have uh, authority to say that there are biblical scholars today who yeah. utterly disagree with everything that you just said, including mm -hmm. Christian scholars who admit that this is a tradition, not a fact. The writings yeah. of the four Gospels. Yeah. So I would say to you, why don't you have a look at Brad Pageley? He gets into this. Why don't you have a look at that? There's many uh, scholars that will even agree with this that are even Protestants and are not Catholics. And they will even uh, they would even show that Matthew is Matthew, Luke is Luke and John is John. Right. And we can state this and the Gospels confirm it and the way that they write. I mean, brother, it. I don't know what more I can I do say it. Um, you can get it up if you'd like to. You haven't obviously read the scripture, brother. Um, I not have, sorry, I, excuse me. Okay. How dare you? How dare you? I have, awesome. yeah. Okay. So how come you didn't know that Matthew was a was a taxpayer? I, I'm aware. I mean, he was a tax the, collector. The, the idea exists that Matthew is a tax collector, yes. What do you mean you were that it exists? How does that, how you should does know that the story. It, how, how does that make the Gospel of Matthew written by Matthew? So one second. Uh, hold on for a second. You right, said tell that me you where were the aware. in the Gospel of Matthew says that uh, I am a tax collector. First, Because when he's Matthew talking, say, he says his name, Matthew. He says his name, Matthew. And in then the it Gospel shows... Of, in the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew says the name Matthew in the Gospel of Matthew. What is that what you're talking telling me? This is so, is that what you... Yeah, I'm trying to clarify, but you're spinning down a line. Right. Is okay. the name Matthew in the Gospel of Matthew? Yes, yes. Where? Okay, awesome. So in Matthew, Passage, book, chapter and verse. I'm not going to speak to you if you're going to be screaming at me. It's well, you know, you know, you just told me a story. I asked you for something and you will not give it to me. But so you I'm just told me you that can. you're aware. But you just told me that you're aware of the Bible, right? I know it is mentioned. I did not. I am unaware. It's in the gospel. I don't believe you. And if you is, tell me where or don't bother any further. Okay, chapter let me get it up and for you. verse. Let me get it up for you. Calm down for a second. Thank you. I'm sorry, I like to do things slowly and methodically. I heard you out. I don't disagree with everything you said, and I'm not suggesting you are totally wrong. I need to know how we are getting to this conclusion. So if it says in the Gospel of Matthew, uh, I, Matthew, said X, Y, Z, or whatever, fine. If it's third person, that's just weird. So I'd like the reference, please. And then I'll make my mind up because nobody else is going to tell me how things are. Unless they personally had divine revelation, like me, and we can compare notes. Have you personally had divine revelation? I've had personal revelation. Good for you. I'm having a personal revelation right now. Squatch, stop trolling. <laughs> My brother, it's Matthew 9, uh, 9 to 13. Matthew 9, 9 to 13. Thank you. Let's just have a look at that. You're welcome. Matthew 9. 9 to 13. <laughs> Okay, that's a third person statement. That's not okay, indicative. So brother, that's so not it. Sorry, brother, just let, may I? Yeah. May I? That not Where's indicative of this being written by the person who put his own name in there. 
Oh my god. So one second. Uh, so uh, look, wouldn't you, wouldn't you say this? Look, as Jesus went what? from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting. Well, he saw me sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him, okay. me. Uh, yeah. And I got up and followed yeah. him. This is talking about somebody else. This is a writer. Writer, people don't write this way, do they? Okay. So, so really quickly, I I just want to make this clear. Number one is you told me that it had to be from the gospel itself. What I'm claiming, right? Yeah. I showed you that, right? Now you're saying to me, um, okay, you have the evidence. You can see that Matthew, right? Because we're talking I, I, about... I, 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 I asked you if the name Matthew one, was in the... One second, one second, please. You're talking about the book of Matthew. We can see now that Matthew um, is a tax collector, correct? He's a tax collector. Yeah, so he's a tax collector. Awesome. So now, by knowing this, we will know that Matthew is well-educated, correct? Um, he, can, he can do sums, yes. Agreed. Okay, awesome. So <clears throat> what way that he writes, right, will be different to what way a fisherman would write, correct? Uh, he writes a narrative biography like the other three synoptics. So one second. So would he write different? Uh, he would write, he writes the same as the other three, narrative biography. Actually, so, more no. to the point, he writes exactly the same as them in some points in Greek. So, 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 so either there's second. a miracle taking place or he so, copied it. Yeah, hold on. So one minute. So either you state yes or no. I just, uh, it's very confusing here what way you're stating to me. Is I'm Matthew... stating that that passage does not say Matthew wrote the gospel. It says there is a person no. in the story called Matthew. Okay. And we're gathering that Matthew is a tax collector because Matthew right. was the one. Now tell me who says he's a tax collector. Some so, in the box. So, so, so listen, hold on. And who, where? Karen, Karen down yourself. Listen. You Just are not, jumping before, so far. You before we run, you said you wanted to take it slow. That's what you You're stated. Stretching. Right? right, so tell me now. You said, Where? you said, so... You're, so right. so he's a tax, we know he's a tax collector. We, I so agree with on. you. The person so, called Matthew so, is a tax collector. Now, so the next step second, is, Adam, where else Adam, so you then, got the information about him from? Okay, specifically, so, so would we know... Specifically, not the story, the facts. Where so did you get on. the information so, that Matthew, the tax collector, wrote no the gospel? There's no point me engaging, I think, with you. Because where did you get the information? This is the question. Where did yeah. you get the information that Matthew wrote the gospel from other scripture? Please tell me where that is. In okay, the 66 awesome. books. Awesome, in the 66 okay. books. Yeah. There is no... What are you on about in the 66? There's, 70, there's 73 books. Yeah. Oh, you uh, have a different Bible to everybody else, don't you? Okay. No, we have the original Bible. We were the no, Catholics. you don't. We no, you one. don't. We're the no, one who compiled don't. the Bible. No, you don't have the original Bible. Well, let's, don't be ridiculous. Let's, let's there see. is no, there isn't an original Bible. It doesn't exist. Okay, are you a, are you a rational so human being? Let's make let's make your claim here. You said that I have. A I'm not making reason. claims. I'm questioning you. You are making claims. You are making claims. Yeah. So let's okay, go. show me the original. All go right. Ahead. Okay. L listen, listen. You're very heated right now. Take a glass of lemonade. Calm yourself shit. down. Frankly, calm yourself man. down. Why don't you shut the fuck up and calm down yourself? You stupid, Look at stupid this. fucking woman. I'm calm. Yeah. Oh, well. Hey, oh, my uh, goodness. No, that's, that's, that's too much, man. You yeah. Bring me down. That was a bit extreme. Anyway. Um, so what I, what I was going to try to point out to him was when he was stating certain stuff, um, Matthew was showing what way he writes because he's he would have wrote a certain way he was more educated right um in these way if he wrote because he was a taxpayer i mean a tax collector uh for instance paul wrote certain ways as well he knew more languages right um luke had his way of writing because he was a doctor now the way mark wrote would have been different because he didn't have the education the way matthew had right um, we can see this. So I was trying to explain that to him. Also, we have the church tradition. We have the apostles of the apostles. And I trust that because it leads back to Pope Francis all the way back to Peter. We have a chain, an unbreakable chain there. Everyone is ordained there. That's the reason why I trust the church. Now, even the 66 books that he's talking about, 
Well, the King James 1611 even had those other seven books, the Apocryphas, that they call, which is not Apocrypha, um, they called it that in their own Bible. Um, and then they removed it afterwards because they stated that through print and press, right? So him making even that claim, it's just, it, it maybe he's not aware. But anyway, guys, um, I was love speaking to you. I got to go because my brother did call me about 10 minutes ago. Um, hopefully he might count down later. A cup of tea is grand. God bless. God bless. Thank you, brother. God bless. Speak soon. So what's the argument, just that she believes she has an unbroken chain. She believes that has the traditions of the apostles and just chooses to believe it based on her intuition. Fucking in charge here. Oh, at last, you pieces of shit. Lying bitch. I don't... Get wrecked, nerd. Got fucking dominated, dude. Absolutely dominated. <laughs>